The year 1828 was a momentous one. In April of that year, Jacob and Charlotte Weaver, along with their family, moved here to the Venoge Cottage. And in November, Andrew Jackson was elected the seventh president of the United States. Known as the hero of New Orleans, Jackson carried Switzerland County. One local wag even remarked, as goes Switzerland County, so goes the state of Indiana. Jackson was known as the hero of New Orleans for his stunning defeat of the British on the 8th of January in 1815. For years, the 8th of January was considered a national holiday. The myths and legends of the Battle of New Orleans are legion. One such myth is the unerring aim of the Kentucky Long Rifle and of the men who helped Jackson gain his victory. A popular song would be written about those men. Jackson used it as his campaign song and it helped propel him to the White House. So raise your glass and join along with us as we toast the 8th of January and our neighbors south of the River Ohio. Ye gentlemen and ladies fair who grace this famous city, just listen if you time to spare while I rehearse a ditty. And for the opportunity, conceive yourselves quite lucky, for tis not often that you see a hunter from Kentucky. Oh, Kentucky, the hunters of Kentucky. Oh, Kentucky, the hunters of Kentucky. We are a hardy, freeborn race, each man to fear a stranger. Whate'er the game, we join in chase, despising toil and danger. And if a daring foe annoys, whate'er his strength and forces, we'll show him that Kentucky boys are alligator horses. Oh, Kentucky, oh, the hunters of Kentucky. Oh, Kentucky, the hunters of Kentucky. I suppose you've read in all the prints how Packingham attempted to make old Hickory Jackson wince, but soon his scheme repented. For we, with rifles ready cocked, thought such occasion lucky, and soon around the general flocked the hunters of Kentucky. Oh, Kentucky, the hunters of Kentucky. Oh, Kentucky, the hunters of Kentucky. You've heard, I suppose, how New Orleans is famed for wealth and beauty. There's girls of every hue, it seems, from snowy white to sooty. So Packenham, he made his brags, if he in fight was lucky, he'd have their girls in cotton bags in spite of old Kentucky. Oh, Kentucky, the hunters of Kentucky. Oh, Kentucky, the hunters of Kentucky. But Jackson, he was wide awake and was not scared of trifles. For well he knew what aim we take with our Kentucky rifles. So he led us down by Cypress Swamp. The ground was low and mucky. There stood John Bull in martial pomp. And here was old Kentucky. Oh, Kentucky, the hunters of Kentucky. Oh, Kentucky, the hunters of Kentucky. A bank was raised to hide our breasts, not that we thought of dying, but that we always like to rest unless the game is flying. Behind it stood our little force, none wished it to be greater, for every man is half a horse and half an alligator. Oh, Kentucky, the hunters of Kentucky. Oh, Kentucky, the hunters of Kentucky. They did not let our patience tire before they showed their faces. We did not choose to waste our fire, so snugly kept our places. But when so near we saw them wink, we thought it time to stop them. And would have done you good, I think, to see Kentuckians drop them. Oh, Kentucky, the hunters of Kentucky. Oh, Kentucky, the hunters of Kentucky. The British found was vain to fight Where lead was all their booty And so they wisely took to flight And left us all the beauty And now if danger or annoys Remember what our trade is Just send for us Kentucky boys And we'll protect you ladies Oh Kentucky, the hunters of Kentucky 
Kentucky, the hunters of Kentucky, oh Kentucky, the hunters of Kentucky, oh Kentucky, the hunters of Kentucky. Oh, Kentucky, the hunters of Kentucky.